Hi, I'm Robert and this is Contentment Channel. My project today is to make our composting toilet holder. We have a, an octagon shaped uh, end table. I have drawn my area where I want my bucket to be so I'm going to cut it out and then put on the toilet seat. Here's the octagon shaped table and on the bottom it says 31969. It's probably the item number but I think it this table is as old as is older than me. March of 1969, but I'm probably wrong, but that's what I think. This vintage octagon table is solid wood frame, but laminate top. The laminate top will make for easy cleanup. Okay, it's time to get this Shouse uh, bathroom done. I mean, because as you can see, it's so undone and be able to take a bath in this thing. We bought this bathtub last year and we had all the stuff ready to go to, uh, you know, get this up and running. Unfortunately, it was all stolen. So we're starting over. Uh, the, the claw feet for this tub were stolen, but the tub was itself was not stolen. Go figure. I don't know. Anyway, we found some claw feet. Let me show you what we got. And it's a pretty good fit. Now, a word of advice, um, when I was doing this and test fitting it, I was tending to grind this surface right here where it meets up against the underside of the tub. And I realized I don't need to do that. All I need to do is make sure that this part is thin enough and it should slide in right. <laughs> Otherwise, this came out pretty good and it's a pretty easy project to do. So. We're doing a polycrylic seal on this for uh, Egypt's explosive days. Is that good enough? Looks good to me. Okay, so it took a little bit of work to use that jigsaw to di uh, cut out that hole because it's an old jigsaw bent blade and hard wood. So also as wood ages, it gets harder and that's called it lignifies lignification. So that's why it was kind of hard to do this and trying to drill this thing. Oops. This is kind of hard to drill too. No oops. Nobody knows like this the one? trouble I see. Is this how you like it, this one? Yeah, that's how it's going to go. Oh, whoops, we need the... <laughs> yeah, we need the seat. We need the seat first. Yep. Okay, so taking you inside our mostly finished off-grid bathroom. You can see we have light. And this vanity here is a quite a feature. We found this vanity... Uh, last year at a local antique shop. Actually, it wasn't a vanity then, it was just a chest of drawers. And they were also selling that sink, which I guess came from a, I don't know, a dentist or doctor's office or something, old porcelain sink. And we asked him to put them together like that. So this drawer doesn't open, obviously. There's no drawer there anymore. But the other two are cut out enough inside to allow for all the plumbing uh, to run down behind it. So kind of funky, kind of cute. Uh, works for us. 
And, you know, the interesting thing about it is uh, we paid less for this than we would have paid to go buy some box store vanity and sink to stick in here. So, yeah, it works. Looks good. Of course, here's the tub. Uh, the tub has got, you know, some permanent staining in it that we can't seem to get out. And it needs it needs more cleaning. We, we've been scrubbing and scrubbing out, but we really need some scouring powder. It's clean, but it doesn't look clean. And then, uh, of course, the big attraction for any off-grid bathroom. You know, we have our off-grid octagon table composting toilet here. Frankly, I can't think of a better application um, or use for an old octagon table than to turn it into a composting commode. But, uh, yeah, so we've got running water in here now. I'm going to take a bath and do all that fun stuff in relative comfort. There's our box of sawdust for the... Uh, composting toilet now that sawdust is really really brown uh, because it's been sitting outside a long time in the damp weather and things at times uh, probably been sitting out there for years breaking down and that's just exactly the kind of sawdust that you want to use in an off-grid uh, composting toilet because and this is clean folks so don't, I mean don't don't be skeezed out by this it's just dark because it's got a lot of moisture and it's begun to break down. But uh, yeah, they're basically sawdust and shavings that were sitting outside, piled up along the edge of the sawmill barn. I didn't want the fresh stuff because the fresh stuff doesn't do the same job. It doesn't do as good a job at odor control and that kind of stuff. If you pick this up and you smell it, you know, it's kind of earthy, like it has may have a little bit of soil in it. But what you're smelling there are the little microbes that do their stuff in breaking down compost. So this is really good stuff and it's free. Got it from the sawmill for free because obviously it's not the stuff they sell. It's just stuff that's blown into the corners alongside their buildings. And I was just able to go get tubs of this stuff. So works great. And, there, and I'm standing here <clears throat> in this bathroom with a compost toilet and there is no smell. Now, that hasn't always been the case. You use fresh sawdust, it doesn't work as well. It's too fluffy and uh, stuff like that. But this good, earthy, damp stuff, perfect. Anyway, so that's the bathroom. And uh, we had fun making that composting toilet.